Hi, Cancerians. So welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthly horoscope, your forecast for this November. Um, before we start, I just want to let everybody know that I do follow Sidereal Vedic Astrology. And if you guys don't know your placement in your chart or your, your chart, <laughs> if you're out of place, really out of place, um, in the description box below, you can get it. And right now, it's a huge mega sale because this is the last time that we are accepting chart so it's going to be at fifty dollars so it's it's a flashing over there um no codes needed you know um because this is the last time at the end of this video there's going to be a huge announcement everything is huge maybe from texas oh, huge everything is huge um but uh there's gonna be two parts the career finances and then the, se the second part would be romance love relationship um and then of course uh i will give you guys the announcement later on so let's begin here for the Cancerian. I'll be following, I'll be using the moon and the ascendant sign um, for this uh, forecast. So uh, make sure you follow the same. <laughs> um, okay, money matters, finances and career. Let's see what's going on. We have Mars in the 11th house. Very good placement for Mars. Because this is when a Cancerian makes their dreams come true. Dreams and desire. Earnings is the 11th house. You're basically going to work hard for this. When someone has a malefic planet, such as Mars, Saturn, or Rahu in the 11th, it makes the person work. It is known also, let's just say you put Saturn in the 11th, the person, well, I have to say this, will never retire. They would always work. <laughs> so, because, you know, some people love to work. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but this right now, of course, it's a transit. It's in retrograde in the 11th. It's a house of earnings. Um, this, this is a time where Cancerian puts their focus in their money. Okay. Because Mars is like this energy of just like, let me just go. Let me just do this. I'm not going to stop. All right. So that's that part, which is amazing. Okay. Mars in the 11th. Um, so this is going to be a good time for your finances. Um, and finally, a Zodiac that has a good time with finances because we love that there. Now... If you are um, investing or trying to, um, how to say this? Um, oh, all okay. right. I think, all right, no. So from what I'm seeing here is that you're a little bit, um, hmm. like this is not the best time for you to, well, it is. I feel like it's still good. I think it's fine. Because right. you have these bright ideas for any kind of venture. Um, but less is more here from what I'm seeing. It's like try not to overcommit yourself with anything related to, um, let's just say a lot of people are encouraging you to put money here, put money there, put money here, there. Not the best time. You have to be the one making the call. Uh, this is what I want for the consumer. It's like, you're the boss. You put your money where your mouth is, basically. Okay. Saturn the 7th is very good for any kinds of business dealing contracts. This is amazing here. Um, we love Saturn in the seventh because uh, we all know that you know slow and steady wins the race. Um, as far as business, also it's like that. You know anything that you rush, it never it never really will manifest fully. Um, so this uh, Saturn in the in the seventh for you, uh, make sure like you look into the fine detail because this is agreements. Seventh house is agreements that we make with other people. Um, there will be um, like maybe like an older person who will be guiding you. When I say older, more mature, can be a, a person who has more experience with regards to business. So that some that someone can be helping you. Um, I'm seeing here that there's gonna be uh, an enormous growth in your business in your career. Um, Rahu in the tenth. So we love this also. Rahu in the tenth. Uh, this has the ability to make you. Be as big as you want with regards to your career or your business because Rahu has no limits at all. So for the Cancerian, this is the time where you dream big. This is a time where you dream big, but don't listen to other people. Like trust your intuition here. What you're doing is right. Like the rest can GTFO basically. You do have Jupiter in retrograde in your ninth house, right? Yeah, in the ninth house, which only means that um, faith is needed to things that you're doing. The 
The part where you will take action, yes. But having faith in what you do, it's a different thing. So having a good spiritual belief or religion or whatever you want um, or a higher power that you, you believe in, that's going to be good for you. And also bringing in, um, uh, I'm hearing a reader, but I'm, I was thinking about bringing in a guru for you. So best to find a teacher, best uh, to find someone that can give you instructions or consultation. Like if you know a consultant before you start venturing into a business or before you change your career, ask for, you know, research, you know, ask for people's opinion. This is the time where you can get guidance. The planet of luck also is sitting on its own home, but it's in retrograde. So a, not a delay. It's more of like an unmanageable. Uh, you won't be able to manage the choices that you need, uh, the choices that you're about to make with regards to luck and opportunity. There will be a lot of luck and opportunity. So try to be um, as focused because there it can be overwhelming with um, this whole blessings. Okay, so a lot of blessings. I'm seeing it here. It's gonna be good because. For the, the ninth house, is a, this is the opportunities, the luck. Like you can be a good businessman, but without the luck, I understand the hard work. The hard work can take you there. But some people need luck when they're trying to make money, trying to take off a business, trying to, make, to manifest something um, good for themselves. So luck is in your side over here. Make sure that you're always looking at the opportunity. All right? No, meaning once you see it, go for it. Trust yourself in, during this time. Yes? Once Jupiter is re direct, it's still retrograde. It's at the end of the month before it goes direct. Okay? So, um, can I make my announcement first, guys, before I go to the romantic connection and love horoscope? Um, I just want to tell everyone here who's watching at Eat, Read, Love that this would be the last video that I will be making. Yes, this is the last. You heard me. Um, this is the last um, horoscope video for astrology that I'll be making at Eat, Read, Love because we are moving into a new home. And this new home, I will put the link there. It's called Astro Unity. It's a new channel that I have um, that hopefully the Cancerians would join me. In this channel, we will be more focused on everything astrology that way, I can be able to assist everyone's question or, um, you know, like how to help them with regards to their chart. Um, this is something big for me and this is something new. So I hope you're going to be there with me. You guys have supported me for hundreds and thousands of years. So I do believe that in this next chapter, I will still see you guys there in Astro Unity. So make sure to subscribe to the new channel. Go there because that's where I'm going to upload the first content over there. It's going to be the love, the romance, um, and there's going to be more into it. It's not just a prediction channel. There's, it's going to be also a learning channel. So join me in Astro Unity. But for now, I would say goodbye to Ichid Love and I'll see you in the next channel.